Hello, this is Martin from Cyber51. Today I'm going to show you another social engineering attack. So we go to the social engineer toolkit, choose social engineering attacks, and we choose the infectious media generator option. Okay, um, we can choose from file format exploits or standard me metasploit executable. We choose the standard metasploit executable. And we have to enter the IP address where we'll be listening on, which is our own IP address. In this case, 192.168.0.106. Then we choose the payload we want to use. So the payload in our case is the Windows Reverse TCP Interpreter Shell, option number two. And how we want to disguise our payload, our exploit, we use the backdoor executable option number 16 to disguise it as best as we can from antivirus programs. Okay, then we listen back on the port 443 and now this is being set up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm copying those files to a USB pen drive and then I will insert that USB pen, pen drive into a Windows 7 machine. Keep in mind that Windows 7 by default doesn't support the auto run functionality anymore for security reasons but there are still loads of other options to get a user to execute a program. So do we want to start a listener right now? Yes, we want. And now the listener is being set up. And at the same time, we browse to the set directory and copy those newly generated exploit files to the desktop. So we simply copy the program.exe and the autorun.inf. We copy those to the desktop so you can see them. And then we grab them off the desktop. So first of all, here they are. So see, they're now on a desktop. And let me grab those quickly. And then I'm copy, copying them over to the USB pen drive. Okay. I safely eject the USB pen drive now. And then I will reinsert that USB pen drive into the Windows 7 machine. Okay, you can see that here. So now the, the payload listener is running and now we insert it into the Windows 7 machine, our USB drive, and then you will see that the USB drive has been recognized. So we open the folder here and then we simply execute that program. So we just click on that program, double click it, and then what you're gonna see here, it's instantly opening a meterpreter session and it's even migrating it to another process. So to the notepad.exe, which means um, if the user closes the program down, it will still be live. So let's do a session. See, we have a successful session now with the victim machine. So we hacked that machine. We do a session minus I1, and then we have the interpreter command prompt. So we could now do a screenshot, for example, or you know keyboard logging, uh, uploading, downloading files, whatever we want to do really, uh, enable the webcam, but we just issue a shell command and then we get instantly to the MS-DOS command prompt. You can issue a directory command here, change to a different volume, uh, so we have successfully hacked it. Hope you enjoyed that and see you soon.